people who have done this for a living and not made a couple of banging albums. $500 billion, where do you get that from? And for Ice Cube to say, well, I talked to the Democrats, but uh, they, they said they couldn't do anything to have the election. Let me tell you why. Because they don't hold the power right now. People who have done this for a living and not made a couple of banging albums Ice Cube has been facing backlash from some of the renowned Hollywood celebrities. It's not just another controversy, but it's the selection of choices that Ice Cube made back in 2020 Ice Cube. Had a plan in 20. 20 for Black America, $500 billion. Where do you get that from? And for Ice Cube to say, well, I talked to the Democrats. But, ah, they, they said they couldn't do anything after the election. Let me tell you why. Because they don't hold the power right now. He wanted to make a contract like Native Americans did in the past to address specific issues actors like Viva Fox Claudia Jordan and DL He criticized Ice Cube for meeting with then-President Trump Ice Cube, recently talked about how he felt during that time. In response to the criticism, he is also talking about the disturbing side of DL Huey and Viva Fox. So what exactly did Ice Cube reveal about DL Huey and Viva Fox comedian DL Huey? 57 is not happy with rap music icon. Ice Cube, getting involved in politics just weeks before a crucial presidential election cube, has been using his influence to advocate for an agenda, benefiting Black America, and in the process collaborated with President Donald Trump's campaign. Many critics argue that Republicans are using the hip. Hop legend to sway Black men away from voting for Democratic nominee Joe Biden in the November election's Ice Cube, however, expresses that he is indifferent to such claims and is solely focused on achieve. In results, even though he explained his connection with the Trump administration on CNN and mentioned reaching out to both Democrats and Republicans about his contract with Black America, he faced a lot of criticism comedian D. L. High strongly criticized Cube on his podcast, He Doesn't See. Impressed by Ice Cube's recent political moves, the comedian expressed his disapproval through several tweets and during a podcast, criticizing the rapper's apparent attempt to engage in the political discourse about but race in the GED section, D.L. Hui criticizes Donald Trump for consistently seeking advice from, from black entertainers, such as Ice Cube, when it comes to policy development and legislation. He said out of all these meetings he Trump has had with black people, why are they always actors? Comedians, rappers, and athletes, out of all these meetings he's had with these black people, why are they always actors, comedians, rappers, and athletes? Huey expressed his dissatisfaction with Ice Cube for his notable assault with Donald Trump and the platinum plan for black Americans. And he doesn't hesitate to make his disapproval clear. He further stated you've seen black person after black person after black person after black person ruins themselves on the altar of Trump with nothing in return. And Ice Cube is the latest one that platinum plan when I heard it, it was insulting from the gate. Why didn't they have the spinning rims? Plan is you've seen black person after black person after black person after black person ruin thems on the altar of Trump, with nothing in return and Ice Cube, is the latest one furthermore. Huey explicitly asserts that Trump often engages with black entertainers instead of genuine political leaders and experienced individuals as he sees them more as sources of amusement than individuals with. Substantial political insights he further said, do you know why Trump picks the black people he picks? Because they are all entertainers. And that's what he thinks this is all I have to do, is show N.A. shiny that. Ung and they'll be distracted. You know why, because they know he's a fool. And do you know why Trump picks the black people he picks because they are all entertainers? And that's what he thinks this is all I have to do is show as a shiny thing. And they'll be distracted. Hugh shared an article titled Ice Cube. Isn't winning at chess. He's losing at poker. To which Cube responded to the article with a middle finger emoji. Many people have also characterized him as a discreet Trump supporter. D.L. Huey goes further as asserting that Cube lacks the qualifications to engage in serious political discussions. With a campaign, Cube responded to DL with a tweet writing, I hope all these people would, with podcast and radio show, telling the world I'm too unqualified and uneducated to talk about a document I created. Don't get asked to pull out their communications degrees and show you they are qualified and educated enough to speak to you over airwaves. He also said that racial unfairness is a problem he said bipartisan pro Blem when it comes to the issues when it comes to blacks in America. And what's going on? It's not a Democrat problem. It's not for them to solve. It's not for the Republicans to solve. It's for both of them to solve he further express the criticism he has been facing, saying everybody's been mad at me. 
because I haven't been on the no. The gravy train of these candidates, especially Joe Biden and Harris. I don't trust any of them. No president has done right by us, so I don't trust none of them. But that's not. Od Al Diel Hui didn't shy away from commenting about the black church, as well he shared some bold remarks with VAD TV, especially about the black church additionally. He expressed the view that jokes should not be off limits for the Legs Pew Plus community he expressed that the black church is the gayest place on the face of the earth. Things got even worse for D.L. Hui, as he faced significant backlash about the statements. He said many people called him out for being disrespectful and having no regard for. Are the black men at all people also questioned his audacity to question Ice Cube's efforts when he criticized blacks and gay men as well? The gayest place on the face of the earth is the black church Ice Cube appeared on cocktails with queens hosted by Claudia Jordan to talk about his contract with Black America Cuba and his approach to collaborating with whoever holds political power. He said, I'm not here to fight about what Trump did do. And what he didn't do is he a good white man or is he a bat? White man to me, they are pretty much all the same Ice Cube, shared his thoughts during the conversation with Claudia Jordan Selena Johnson Viva of Fox and Lisa Ray. The women appeared to appreciate Cube's efforts, but they did challenge him regarding the exclusion of black women in his documents in Response Cube said, when you mention black people, you mention black women, so don't count yourself out. When Johnson disagreed with the exclusion claim, Cube proposed that they could write a section for black. Women to be added to the contract stating I'm open to, y'all write a section Claudia Jordan pointed out that it wasn't fair for them to write it. When Cube was the one meeting with Trump officials in Response Cube, said he would take responsibility and write up the section specifically addressing. Black women in the contract he questioned how many words you'll want it to be. He questioned you guys are the experts. But again, you just want to talk, nobody wants to help me. But y'all the experts on black you are. Oman Jordan concluded the interview by reassuring the rap veteran that there were no hard feelings, and she expressed a desire for him to return to continue the conversation in the future. Now Ice Cube was smart to mention black women in the interview, as deal hugely stereotyped black women he has. An interesting relationship with women during a chat with NPR News, the host. Asked D.E.L. if he liked women to which D.E.L. said, I don't like the way they process. No, I don't. I enjoy their company. I don't like the way that they reason you can't understand them. The thought then shifted towards black women and D.E.L. responded black women and as the angriest group of people he added black women are angry just in general angry all the time my assessment out of just in my judgment. You either are in charge or they're in charge. So there's no kind of day that you get to rest the statements made. By DL seemed to reveal why he criticizes Ice Cube, as Cube is actively taking steps and working towards the betterment of the Black American community. Many fans feel that if DL couldn't appreciate Ice Cube's efforts enough, he should have refrained from voicing criticism despite the majority of his fans being Black. They didn't take DL's words lightly, however, despite facing backlash, DL remained unaffected by his statements and continued with his career. Years later, when Columbus short faced charges, of spousal abuse and was dismissed from the TV show scandal, Dia voiced his opinions on his radio show, initially Dia painted Columbus's wife as a liar, and then addressing the allegations he shared his perspective. She should have kept her mouth shut, Dia added. If he loses that job, nobody's living in Calabasas anymore, I guarantee you. Three years from now, she's going to be thinking, damn, they should have shut the F up women, always running out the mouth, when they shouldn't. This was thirsty, the audio clip was taken end down from the show's hosting site, but not before DL received a significant amount of criticism online users, went as far as starting a petition, urging DL to publicly apologize the concern, was that his comments might endanger the lives of black women who could be victims of domestic violence by possibly encouraging them to remain silent. However, DL hugely isn't alone in doing this or speaking against the blacks, even when he's a black himself. Viva Fox, the renowned actress and film producer, is back. Oming infamous because of the same controversy, the allegations about her come from a very sensitive issue. It seems like many black people are getting smarter and seeing through the agenda of certain leaders in the Democratic Party, even some conservatives who support Democrats, particularly that regular liberals are realizing the truth. In that case, a group of women, including Viva Fox and her team, called neoliberal women, seem to be spreading negativity and opposing black masculinity these individuals as seem to be elitists. They have truly shown their hatred towards black men like Kevin Samuels, 
regular men who don't bow down. 